this is most important when we're talking about the cost of medications. If you are receiving chemotherapy treatments, radiation treatments, some other non-self-administered treatment, injections, infusions, these will all be covered under Part B of Medicare and if you have a Medicare supplement policy, your secondary plan will pay for the 20% copayment. So if you have Medicare, Part A and Part B as your main primary coverage, and you do have a Medicare supplement policy, the majority of your health care costs are going to be taken care of. Your exposure, your maximum out-of-pocket will be relatively minimal, which is good news. Now let's talk about option number two. If you decided or are thinking of enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan, it's important to understand that these plans work very differently when it comes to the cost of treatment for your cancer treatment. On a Medicare Advantage plan, each time you receive care, whether it be a visit to your doctor, some type of a testing or screening uh, hospital stay, if you need chemotherapy or radiation or any other type of procedures, you are going to have some type of either a flat fee, which would be a copayment, or you're going to pay a percentage of the cost of that treatment.